It's a family tradition passed down through the generations. We are the sixth generation dairy farmer. Johannes and Julaine Truer, along with their five children, raise and milk brown Swiss cows in Agassi, using the milk to produce different types of cheese and dairy products sold on their farm directly to customers. Dairy farming is hard work, and we've really seen that in the past few years with increased costs. It's hard to get someone new started in dairy farming. So if we are able to one day turn over our farm to our kids, we're going to keep family farming strong in Canada. Truer says multi-generational farming is vital to maintain food security as British Columbians grapple with inflation, extreme weather events and strain on the supply chain. Uh, with the Razor Valley floods, milk that was produced on dairy farms here wasn't able to actually get to the large plants in the city and the grocery stores were empty. There is no milk on the shelves. But we, even with our small equipment here on the farm, we were actually able to uh, process quite large quantities of milk and we had lineups to the, out the door and almost to the road. So you're seeing one of our uh, uh, pens here, with some of our black and red Angus. Travis Hopcott says their shelves also stayed stocked during the floods. He and his two siblings are third generation farmers in Pitt Meadows. We try to be as much of a circular economy as, as possible. And so when we receive the animals, we raise them here, we process them here, uh, we uh, retail them as well. And any waste, we are able to actually recycle all of that, compost it, and reintroduce it back onto the field. Steve Sacomano says the average age of a farmer in Canada is in their mid 50s, unless younger generations are taking an interest in carrying on the family farm. We want to encourage the next generation of farmers. We've experienced in the, this past year floods, extreme heat, the heat dome. Our producers have been able to continue to produce through that and um, we need that next generation to be involved to continue that cycle. Truer says with a shortage of land available, prices continue to surge. The province says programs are in place to support new and young farmers and its agri-stability program helps producers experiencing a large income decline or increased expenses. Truer and Hopcott hope to see more young people stepping in to take over farms to sustain them and maintain them. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Pitt Meadows.